Hey Doc, why don't you get real, man? Why don't you get real? Why don't you get a real mower? That's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you a real mower. I'm gonna talk about it, give a little bit of review, do the whole works for you. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, everyone keeps saying, why don't you use a real mower? Why don't you use a real mower? Simple facts, I got about 18,000 square feet total of lawn. I'm old, I'm fat, I'm lazy, and I ride my lawn. <laughs> I don't think uh, I better be able to call 911 if I'm pushing a real mower around this whole thing. I don't care if it's gas or manual, either way. But let me tell you why I got one. I've been noticing some compaction issues on my front yard. Anytime it rains, I have to allow at least 24, if not 48 hours before I take, you know, a 600 pound John Deere and put it on my lawn. But by the time I do that, another rain comes in and then my lawn gets too long. So I wanted something that I could actually go out and cut regardless of the weather, even if it was pouring rain. That's why I'm out here in the rain today. I'm gonna to show you the real mower I got. I'm actually, when I'm cutting it, it's drizzling and then it starts to pour and I'm actually cutting in the pouring rain. I had to put the cameras away during that, but I'm gonna show you cutting in the rain. I was really impressed. In the description down below, I'm gonna put a link to this thing. Now you gotta be careful. Um, there are older models of this that look just like it, so make sure you go to that page and click that link, and that's the newest model, and I'll keep that updated. It's the 18-inch Max, though, and it's the newest model, and there is an older version of this that you don't want to get. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to unbox it, put it together. It's really fast. I mean, it's like a five-minute assembly. I thought it was going to be an hour project five minutes I was out cutting in five minutes I was actually very impressed with the performance of this thing the quality of it overall quality of it I didn't have to do anything to it all I did was take it out of the box put four screws in it go out and start cutting and it cut really well now if I can get the white and wife to do the backyard I'll be real happy <laughs> but I think what I'm gonna do is, is I'll to use my John Deere on the back this is a massive area I mean this is like 12,000 square feet back here at least but the front is only like uh, 6,000 total, so I can handle that with a push. But like I said, I can't wait for that perfect dry period to cut my front lawn. If I do, my yard gets too long and that's that causes a problem for me. So this was my experiment. I was real happy with it. I'll show it to you. Super Juice is back in stock. We've had huge demand for Super Juice this year. It has sold out twice already. Um, they finally, they, Anderson's shipped up a truckload over to Amazon, so it is back in stock. I don't know how long that truckload will last, but if you need it, go order it. I just did a video on applying super juice and iron at the same time to the lawn, and that's why my lawn is so dark and green right now, is because I've got super juice and additional iron. That's a cool video to watch, so watch that one. And also, click the subscribe button and turn on that little bell, bing. And that'll notify you when I put up a new video because I'm getting ready to do a whole power washing series after I get done with all these little ones. So uh, let's get started with this video. Again, I'm gonna run through it real quick. I'll show you and I'll show you me using it, showing cutting again. I wanted to cut in the rain. I wanted to cut with soaking wet grass. Yes, I had to go back with a blower and, and blow some of the clumps that were clumping up on the grass, but I didn't care. I was really happy, so hold on. Mom put on your stupid collar for Easter. How stupid are those? All right. So anyways, uh, it's cold and rainy outside, believe it or not. So uh, the girls and I are going to put this together inside the kitchen. God, they're wound up. <laughs> they just got old. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start taking this apart, and I'll let you know how the assembly goes. I'll sort of put some time to it as well. And then uh, there's just a few pieces. There's the main headpiece, which comes assembled. And a couple of handle pieces and uh, so let's put this together okay it literally was fast <laughs> that's a 10 minute assembly which i was kind of surprised about to be honest the only thing that was a little bit confusing to me was this right here and just so you know i'm putting mine in the i can't even read it i'm putting mine in this hole right here and then this is the resting part of this just to make that easy for you. So that it rests on the back pin, and then this hole goes through the handle and you put your little cotter pin in. And you do the same thing over there if you want to adjust your handle height. I have a John Deere. I have to cut my grass almost every three days. And if it rains, like it's been raining for two days, and my grass has had super juice, so it's growing kind of fast, it's had a little bit of 10, 10, 10. Well, I gotta get out here and cut it. And the rule of thumb for cutting is, 
you want to let your soil dry out for minimum 24 hours, if not 48 hours, before you put a 600 pound lawnmower on it, like I have, a John Deere. Otherwise you'll have horrible rut marks. I can't do that. So, at least on my front grass, where it's real important, I need to be able to cut my grass when my soil's wet. So the only way to do that is to do a very light, real push mower. So I went ahead and bought one. And I'm gonna do a review on it too for you today. Most of you guys have seen it. It's a good little, it's, it's a decent performing little cutter, but let me show you why I'm gonna get it. Okay, you see these sort of marks in my lawn? So that's where my mower, my riding, my John Deere puts marks in. But here's what happens. I get a lot of soil compaction, and then I get a little bit of um, chlorosis. I get a little bit of yellowing, even some red on the blades of grass. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a perfect example. You see how those blades right there are yellow? Well, look over here. I don't have any yellow blades. Over here, I have a bunch of them. Same thing. Over here, I have a bunch of yellow blades. Over here, I don't have that, uh, that many. And that's... Uh, this growth right here is stunted, and that's not. And that's from com the compression of the wheels. So, obviously, the most important part of my lawn is the front. So I think what I'm going to do, it's not that big. It's about 6,000 square feet out here in the front. I think an old fat guy can go ahead and push real mow that. Uh, I did test this out already on a little strip over here, and I like it. So here's the cut right here that I went ahead and cut. And I'm pretty happy with it. Now, when you get with these real mowers, especially these push ones, you'll get a, you get a, sometimes you get a little bit of line, but I really like the look of it. I was afraid it wasn't gonna be able to go low enough because it only goes down to about an inch, but an inch is perfect for me. That's about where I wanna keep it. So uh, I'm pretty happy. Okay, so there is a link to this. If you look in the description below, there's a link to this product. This is the new model. This is the 18 Max and uh, like I said, it comes just the handle. All you have to put together and put it on here. This is your wheel adjustment. So this adjusts your front tires up and down. And I have found that I am on the lowest setting, which is supposedly one inch. And I like the cut of it. It's a good cut. And then you can adjust the handle height if you want. The one thing about this is you can have the grass um, thrown in front of you so the grass throws this way which I don't know why you would ever want to do that or you can do this and have the grass thrown behind you which makes a lot more sense to me I don't understand why anyone would ever throw the grass in front of them it's not like you're just causing more issues so let's uh, fire this baby up but again very lightweight you can pick this up you can throw it around as it moves forward, that's what happens on the blades. When I'm down, you pick me up. You and me, we shiny dust. And we won't ever get enough. They don't know. They don't know. In your eyes, I put my trust. Baby, you're my all-time favorite drug Let them keep talking about us Cause they don't know We'll never know When the rain hits hard on my window When the night's too dark You're my hero When the troubles come We can lay low Say
Okay, so uh, like I said, there's a link in the page below. There's a link in the description below to the page to this unit. Um, I gotta tell you, I give it two thumbs up for the money. Nothing to, no gas, no oil to change. Ran perfectly in the rain. Now I had to spend, this lawn would normally take me, my front lawn takes me about 10 minutes to cut, 15 minutes to cut with my mower. I was out here at least an hour pushing this lawn, at least an hour. And then I had another, because it was wet and raining, I had another 20, 25 minutes of just blowing the clump of grass around, but it's a big difference. Um, I'm not freaking out about the tire marks and, and compression in the soil for sure. I'll tell you what, this solves my problem. Let me tell you where I'm really going to use this. This solves my problem of having to wait. You know, you have two or three days of rain and then I got to wait another at least 24 to 48 hours. Otherwise, I'm going to leave trench marks in my soil. So the real mower is going to be probably my go-to on the front now simply because I can cut every three days. And that's why I wanted to do it in the rain, by the way. Uh, I wanted to see if I can come out here, if it's raining, can I come out here and cut? <laughs> Reminds me of my golf course days. That's the sidewalk. It's been cut down real low. Again, I had it at the lowest setting. This is as low as it can go. And I have a thick, thick grass. Again, I do want you to go to the link below. Be careful because there are a couple older models versions of this and I'm linking to the brand new model, the updated model, by the way, the one that I got. So uh, that's it. Click that subscribe button, turn on your bell. This old fat tire guy is gonna go inside and get something to drink. <laughs> Let's see if the wife wants to cut the back, get some exercise. <laughs> Talk to you later, doc.